Hey guys, how's it going? The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is here and obviously a lot of folks are already interested and probably have already bought the device. I mean, why not? It's one of the best flagship Android devices that you can buy in the market right now. What's more is that it also comes with a feature loaded one UI and the amazing S Pen. However, both of those things pack in a lot of features that you as a consumer might not be aware of. And that's why this video exists. This is one from Guiding Deck and in today's video, we'll be talking about 10 of the best, the coolest and the most essential Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra tips and tricks that every user should know about. So without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. Right, so kicking things off, one of the new features with the Samsung Galaxy S22 series is the inclusion of smart widgets. Now these are stackable widgets and are fully customizable. The fact that you can have your favorite apps occupy just a single space on your phone is what makes it more interesting. Now to add a smart widget, just long tap on the home screen and select widgets. Once in, select smart widgets from the screen and pick one of the options. The best part here is that you can customize the widgets and add your choice of apps. Now to add the apps, long tap on the widget and select settings. Next, select the add widget option and add the app of your choice. You can also make the widgets background transparent. Select the current widget settings and the option will be right there. Now do note that this is not available for all the widgets. Alright, so this next feature is something that Samsung picks up from Android 12, which is customizing the color palette of your Android device. For example, you can have the palette as blue or turquoise and interestingly, you can apply this color palette to some of the icons as well. To do that, long tap on the home screen and select wallpaper and style to do so. Next, tap on the color palette and select the color of your choice. Once done, toggle the switch for apply palette to all app icons. Alright, so now it goes without saying that the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is a very tall and a large device. I mean, with a name like that, you would expect the device to have a big screen too. Alright, I know that wasn't that funny, but anyway. The point is that it's not as easy as you would think to use such a large display on a daily basis, which is why Samsung also offers a 100 mode. To enable it, open settings, click on advanced settings and scroll down until you see the option for 100 mode. Once in, choose either of the options and that's about it. You can also change the position of the screen. Now, unlike older phones, the screen just doesn't stick to the bottom left or right corner. If you're comfortable with the screen in the middle, you can gently drag it to the middle of the screen. And honestly, that is my favorite part. Alright, so moving along, gone are the days when the power button used to be called as well, just the power button. Nowadays, it's called the side key. And the advantage to that is that you can completely customize it. For now, you can customize the double press and the press and hold function. By default, the later activates Bixby. And if you want to switch off your phone, you'll have to tap on the power button on the quick settings panel. And yes, it can be annoying. So if you want to enable the conventional power button back, you'll need to select the second mode from the option as shown below. At the same time, you can also pick an app of your choice for the double press action. Speaking about accessing the power menu from the quick settings panel, you can actually rearrange all of the icons available there. And honestly, it's super easy to pull off. Just open the quick settings menu and tap on the plus icon. Now, long press on the icon that you want to move to the first row and drag it gently. Do that for the ones you want to move and that's it. Alright, now of course we take a lot of screenshots, but a lot of times what happens is that you take a screenshot and then you have to crop it out and that's just a very tedious process. Wouldn't it be easy if you could just take a selective screenshot? And that's where the S Pen of the Galaxy S22 Ultra comes in super handy. To enable selective screenshots, just take out the S Pen and tap on the Smart Select from the menu. Now, select the portion which you want to save. Once done, just tap on the save icon and that's it. Now moving on, did you know that you can take quick notes even when your phone is locked? The feature is called Screen Off Memo and it basically lets you jot down short notes without unlocking your phone. All you need to do is pull out the S Pen and start writing. However, of course, you have to enable this setting. To do so, head over to Settings, Advanced Features and then to S Pen. Once in, toggle switch next to screen off memo and that's it. Now another amazing feature that the S Pen offers is that obviously it allows you to write in your own handwriting but because how smart Samsung's Galaxy S22 Ultra's AI engine is, it can actually convert your handwritten text to normal writing. Now this feature works inside Samsung's Note app. So open the note of your choice and tap on the select icon to select the text that you want to convert. Next, tap on the three dot menu and select convert text. If your note is legible, 
your phone will do the job of converting it into a matter of seconds. Now the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra comes with various different methods to unlock your device. Sure, there's a fingerprint scanner, there's also the face unlock, and of course, you, if you want, you can just use the good old pattern or pin unlock. But a good alternative, which I personally prefer, is the S Pen Unlock. And no, I'm not kidding. You can actually unlock your Galaxy S22 Ultra with the S Pen. Now to enable this feature, head over to the S Pen settings and toggle the switch for S Pen Unlock. So the next time your phone locks out and you have the S Pen in your hand, just press the S button and your phone will unlock automatically. And trust me, it's a wonderful feature to have. Now one thing to note about this is that this feature works well for a short period of time. So if in a scenario where your phone has been lying idle for more than 2 minutes and you just press the S Pen, it won't directly unlock. Obviously for security reasons and personally I find that to be a nice take. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.